take time to pause and to commune and remember the Lord's sacrifice, we invite all immersed believers to join us. Uh, this week, as I'm thinking about uh, communion uh, in this time that I'm, I'm doing here, I, I, was, I was able to have a conversation with a guy that I work with about Scripture and, and how nothing in it contradicts itself and so many prophecies are fulfilled. I came across this verse in Isaiah, and I want to start for communion there today. Isaiah 25.1. It says, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness you have done marvelous things, things planned long ago. Uh, Isaiah 53, 5 says, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was cursed in our iniqu iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Communion began um, on the annual celebration of Passover when Jesus told his disciples to remember the sacrifice as they ate the bread and they drank the wine. Um, just as Israel was celebrating the sacrifice of the Passover lamb when the angel of death passed over their doors, uh, so believers in Jesus celebrate and remember his sacrifice uh, when he died on the cross. Matthew 26, 26 through 28. While they were eating, Jesus took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and offered it to them saying, drink from it all of you. This is my blood, blood of the covenant, which has been poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. As Tom takes us from the beginning of time to Christmas, I really love to see how Scripture foretells our salvation through Jesus. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for uh, this time that we can come to remember. Remember the precious sacrifice, uh, Lord, but also to celebrate uh, our salvation through your one and only Son. We thank you for this uh, perfect plan of salvation that you've uh, laid out for us and, and to uh, reconcile us to you, Lord. We thank you for these things in Jesus' name.